Congratulations, Gash. You won the uh, you won the contest of May Madness and uh, the exhibition Wicked Beauty, which is your first solo show with us. Mm -hmm. That first show unfold was one of the greatest pleasures of the forty five years. I have to tell you, oh, the thank you. blues alone, everything about it. And when it came on, I just remember that opening. That opening was so. Fantastic. A Japanese crew came and filmed it. Right. The NHK crew came and filmed it. Um, luckily, there was a, a big crowd of, of, of supporters <laughs> in the house that night. But, you know, I couldn't believe it. I, I literally felt like I was going to go play for the LA Lakers. By the way, I'm looking here uh, uh, about your, one of your first big paintings. I'm looking at the one called Dream. Oh yeah, and, which was a spectacular, which is a spectacular picture. Tell me about Dream, would you? So Dream is the, um, the character that I painted in this painting is called Shoki, and uh, Shoki appeared in a uh, Chinese emperor's dream who was bedridden and ill, and so. Shoki dispels evil and so uh, soon after the dream he started feeling better and this painting is my sort of take on you know quelling and dispelling all the evils in our city uh, the city of the angels the uh, city of Los Angeles and um, the acronyms to dream uh, reads, demons rule everything around me. Um, and that's what I was thinking about, uh, about this painting. The other painting in that show that's uh, good to talk about is K2S, the crew. Oh yeah. Can you tell us a bit about K2S? Yeah, I was thinking about like a group photo of the graffiti crew that I, belong to and I thought it would be interesting had we all taken on the persona of like samurais or you know um, Edo period uh, ronins uh, <laughs> but it, it I referenced an old ukiyo-e woodblock print um, for this painting and I thought it would be fun to give it a contemporary twist by using um, a contemporary sports insignia uh, from the Oakland Raiders football team. You know, it's worth uh, going from here to then talk about England because Freeze, which is a London-based art yes. fair, on yes. there, came into America, it did it in New York, and then it came here. And that was a, a, a couple of years ago, and we as a gallery that don't participate too often in fairs were thrilled that they were coming because it gave us a chance to introduce your work into that setting. Mm -hmm. But it was an English-based uh, firm, so they had yes. all sorts of understanding of your work. And so can we go to that? Because that was quite expensive. It was a solo show. And can we talk a bit about that marvellous picture there with the iPhone? This is called uh, Phony Disillusion. These days in my studio, I'm thinking about, uh, I'm, I'm more thinking about society, um, about how, um, us humans uh, are, are uh, how we're doing in this world. And a lot of us folks are just sort of disillusioned. Um, people are, are manipulating uh, media and images and all kinds of things. And it's just, I think, a, a, a short comment, uh, this painting on society as a whole. It's a fantastic picture on many levels. First of all, from what Thank we're you. studying, uh, I mean, the imagination in the other pictures is, is full of life and it's about the time you were living. But look at how much your technique has developed. I mean, just look at the craftsmanship and the yes. sheer mastery that's in the making. I mean, people need to be reminded there are no brushes involved here. There's spray cans and magic markers and highlighters. I mean, right. this technique of yours has gone, I mean, you really dedicated yourself to becoming 
a master of this uh, technique. Oh, thanks. Created out of Otis as an undergraduate in 1997, as I'm remembering. That summer, I attended your um, commencement. Right. And uh, the celebration of your uh, graduation. So that was when I saw your exhibition at Otis, and it's the first time I really saw your work. I didn't know that you were there, but you know, now I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank you for being... not only was I there, I took due note of the celebration the other students had when your name was announced. You did? Wow. Yeah, I made due note of that. It was a, a, a distinct celebration on the part of the entire uh, audience, which was also parents and so on and so forth. You were much admired and loved at that time. <laughs> then I lost touch with you. You went off to Las Vegas. I enjoyed so much the, the, the um, engagement with not just you, also your associates, your friends, the people who tag you. Oh, right. And, right. and seeing that wider circle of LA was, was very inspirational. So oh, it didn't take you. me long to go back to you and suggest we do a, a solo show. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay safe, Peter. And it's always good to hear Thank your you. voice. Nice and to see you. see you. Okay, love to Angie. Thank you, and love to your family. Take care.